you can keep it. Uh, Andrew, tell us about the new module lineup. All right, so we got four really exciting new modules this year. We have a multi timbral physical modeling voice, a circuit bent audio buffer, spectral reverb, and a ratcheting envelope generator. So let's dive right in with the data bender. This is my personal favorite. It's basically a survey of all the ways that audio equipment can break or fail and create all those crazy sounds that you don't like in the moment, but if you had them under musical control, you'd probably love them. So right off the bat, you have time and repeat, which is your buffer controls. You have up to a five minute stereo audio buffer. Time is gonna set the size of your buffer. We'll bring up our dry wet mix here. This is gonna determine how large our buffer is and then repeats. It's going to be how much and how fast the buffer is playing through. So it's kind of like a doubling of, uh, or shortening of size to the power of two every time you increase it. So it'll kind of just cut itself in half and half and half and half. And just with these two things, you can get some really powerful glitch effects. Where it gets really exciting though is the bend, break, and corrupt controls. Now the bend, not, the bend feature is sort of like an old tape machine. Once you enable it, it's going to start to play backwards. It's going to create very speed fluctuations up or down. And as you increase this knob, it's going to be the intensity and the amount of that deviation. So I'll just enable it here, start to bring it up. The first thing you'll notice is this true stereo. So you basically have one processor for each channel right now. That's for each specific type of manipulation. Next we have break. This is gonna be like a skipping CD or a scratch record. It's gonna disjointedly move your playhead around the buffer. You'll start to get a few clicks and pops here and there. And that's config configurable in the software. If you don't want clicks, you can turn them off and then a nice envelope will appear. But personally, I like the clicks. And then lastly, we have the corrupt feature, which is essentially gonna do bad things to your digital audio. It's gonna format it incorrectly. It's gonna buffer under run. It's gonna do all these things that are normally considered software bugs. So between these three effects, you can get some really interesting, unique textures. Of course, it's all clockable. You can run it on its internal clock or clock it externally to make sure all of your Glitching is in time with your master clock and true stereo I.O. for all the effects. And then lastly, you have the freeze control, which just locks your buffer in place the way it is and stops it from accepting any new audio. It's 14 HP wide, it's going to be available in May, and it's going to cost $349. Very nice. What is the service? So that is the multi timbral physical modeling voice. So it has a lot of different models that you can play back, all of which centered around the theme of percussion. So right now we're listening to our plug string model. You're gonna get things like guitars, basses, etc. Next we have the mallet section, which is basically like marimbas and vibes, anything you would use mallets to hit. Then we have our tuned kick drum and tom-tom section. So it's gonna be like drum sounds, but without a noise element. And then in bar setting, we have the snare drum setting where you have the noise coming in and you can tune it. But what's really cool is the fact that you can have up to eight voices of litany from any of the algorithms at a time. Or should I say, from a combination of all the algorithms at a time. So if we come to this pink LED here, we have eight voices that we can allocate. And if we're C being model, it'll allocate the voice from whichever model it's currently selecting up to eight voices. So it'll sound like many more modules than it actually is. It's really cool. Each model has a specific tone control, whether it's a low pass filter or the amount of noise on the signal, so on and so forth. And then the strike knob is going to be essentially the element that you're using to hit the drum or the percussion instrument as it is. And of course, decay, the length of your note, how long it's going to ring out. If you have too many active voices, you don't like it, you can always choke the sound via the button or the associated gate input. So, that's the surface. It's uh, 10 HP wide. It's going to be available in March. It'll be the first one out this year. And it's going to retail for $2.99. And what is Aurora? So the Aurora is our spectral reverb. So in addition to it being just an awesome lush reverb with full voltage control, it also has a bass vocoder audio engine, which lets you do these spectral warping and transformations of the sound. So I'll bring up the dry wet here. You start to hear that lush reverb come in. Reverb time comes all the way down from milliseconds to infinity at its highest setting. So once you lock it, you can pull out your input. It's going to just keep going forever. The warp knob is going to do some unique pitch shifting things in the background of your audio using the phase vocoder. So it's doing some warping things. Blur is going to smear your transients. So it's going to basically just blur everything together. 
And what's really cool is you can lock your signal in the time or the frequency domain and it'll just latch on to what's coming in and keep it going forever. And that has a button or a gate input. On the right hand side we have the reflection knob. This is basically like a low pass filter. But it's not like a resident low pass filter. It's going to use the phase vocoder and the spectral bins to do its filtering. So it's a really unique take on, on the filtering. And then our atmosphere is basically um, sort of like a dampening control in a traditional reverb. It's going to control your brightness. And then uh, all features have CV control over them, including your dry wet. It's 12 HP wide, it's going to be available in April, and it's going to be $2.99. And Cascade. And Cascade. So this is our ratcheting envelope generator. Right now we're running an Anoran noise source into our mixology. We're going to use it like a VCA. So, let me turn it up a little bit here. So right now we just have it uh, operating as an AD envelope. Very simple, we're clocking it. Now we're clocking it just with a steady clock pulse. And what's really cool is when you start to change this repeats knob, it's going to play however many cycles of the envelope that you've specified. So, bring it up. And it's dependent upon your decay setting, of course. So, right now it's going to be one, two, three. So, you see already we're getting some interesting rhythmic activity from a single clock pulse. And that's really the beauty of it. So as you get, you can do some wild, you know, get a little crazier with it. It can operate in a few different modes. It can be an AD envelope, as we're seeing, with attack and decay, ASR, ADSR, and a bouncy ball mode, where it mimics the classic bouncy ball patch. So modeling a gravity affecting a basketball is going to speed up and slow down, and you won't need any external patching. You can just go into the mode, and it'll operate that way. You have two unique channels. They can be inverted, identical, or somewhere in between. And each of those has a zero to 10 volt attenuator on the knob, on the, on the output. The current feature gives you anywhere from linear to exponential logarithmic and a few unique shapes that we threw in the middle, just ones that we thought were musical. And at the top here, you have your cycling control, so you can take out your trigger, and it'll just cycle on its own. And then what's really cool, my favorite feature, is you can freeze it and lock the output wherever it is at that spot in time. And then, uh, yeah, nice. still scalable at the level control. Very good. Yeah. So that's the Cascade, it's 10 HP. Yeah, it's gonna be available in June, and it's gonna retail for $199. Nice. This guy has got, got my brain warping. Yeah, yeah, me too. My favorite of all. That's Cubit, Nam 2020.